how to make best use of certifications in your interview process. In the era where we are currently, there's a lot of demand and supply. Experienced people are switching the jobs, vacancies are created back, work from home has brought in a lot of new projects, a lot of vacancies for scrum masters, coaches, test managers and so on. To fulfill these positions, organization may not get experienced people always. So later and sooner they have to go for different roles and see if they are, uh, they have matchable experience and they can perform, right? Roles like developer, testers, BAs, project managers. And they would also like to see your confidence, your attitude, your ability to drive the things. And among many things that they probably would like to test you on, certification will definitely be one criteria because you don't have the experience. But whatever uh, case you want to make for yourself, you will be demonstrating it using these certifications, which will give an confidence to the interviewer that he has good awareness of the various knowledge areas and essential skills on which he can build upon and take on the role. And that's where the question comes, how to make best use of certifications in your interview process. Here are a couple of tips. Number one tip is that have the breadth of the certifications, then the depth of it. Don't do everything in Scrum, Scrum, Scrum. Real world agile setups has a whole lot of different things which a Scrum master has to take care of. So go for understanding as in what are those essential uh, aspects of script mastery where having the certification will give an additional confidence and make your quiz uh, much better in the interview process. Second tip is that when you're showing the certifications in the interview, interviewer would like to touch upon some of the key knowledge area to understand whether you really have gain anything from those certifications. If you are able to answer, then it gives a good impression and you go to the next level and next round of discussion. If you cannot recollect, but you have really worked well on those certifications preparation, then in that case, you can politely say that uh, probably I don't recollect what you are asking, but I have gained some other knowledge in this uh, area. If you're interested, I can talk about it. So that way you are ensuring that you're not completely missed and inviting him to talk to you in different area, which is a good strategy. The third case could be that you haven't prepared, you couldn't answer most of the question. Then in that case, having the certifications could be a, a negative impact also because a lot of people do the certifications uh, using the brain dumps and you know different techniques. So be good on that side, well prepared, and uh, go for a discussion around that as well. The third tip is that nobody is going to check your certifications in your resume then and there itself. But don't mention if you haven't done it because people might be checking it later on also. And what you talk about in your interview should be present in your resume also. One of the problem in the interview has been seen in that people talk about something, their resume says something, and that creates a suspicion. And that's, that's where, you know, uh, kind of questions that has should, have, should have been ideally be focused on checking the suitability goes on, you know, validating whether he's the right candidate or not. So be sure what you are mentioning in your resume and it is in syncing up with what you're talking about. What has been your experience of having certifications and demonstrating them as your strength in the interview process? What kind of help you're looking at? Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.